Alright, so here is our battery box. Basically, uh, pretty simple, but we got this guy here. Uh, battery's gonna be sitting at an angle because that's the only way I can fit it. I'll show you that on the other side. This guy sits right there. You know what? I designed this whole thing in SolidWorks. Why don't I just show you the SolidWorks side of things? Because then you can see how it all works put together. All right, now here is this battery box looking from kind of inside the wheel well. So we're assuming that the tire is kind of somewhere, I mean, it's bigger than that, but it's somewhere in this area right over here. Front of the vehicle is over here. And then on the other side of the box would be the engine compartment, just to kind of orient you guys. So this box, is going to mount up using six of the factory holes that are kind of in the core support. There's these two on this plate here, three more on this plate, and then one more over here. So now as you can see, we've got our optimal battery all mocked up in here. We've got a hold down kind of strap here, a channel piece. We've got just a coupling nut, some quarter inch all thread, and a knob to hold it down. So that's gonna be kind of the way that this battery sits in here and gets held down. I'm gonna hide that now to get it out of our way. And the way the battery box is gonna mount is we're gonna have the tray right here in blue, and we'll have this mount plate. These will be welded together. So now let me hide all that stuff. So now this piece here is gonna be kind of our base support, help spread the load of that battery to more bolts, just so I'm not relying on those two that I showed you. And so when it's all assembled, this will also function as an inner fender. And as you can see, I didn't bother to cut in anywhere in here for where my shock hoop currently is. Uh, I just, I couldn't get good enough measurements to be sure that I was right, so I figured I would just kind of leave this area here to be a trim to fit after the fact. Anyway, that's our battery box. From this, I made prints and flat patterns, and those could be sent to something like Send, Cut, Send, or Exometry. I just sent it to a local shop, had them cut and bend them for me real quick. So, we've kind of done the overview in the digital world here. Now, let's jump back over to the physical world and actually put this thing together. Just drop some quarter inch hardware in here just to hold everything where it's supposed to be. Alright, so I'm going to leave these separate pieces, mainly because it'll make it a lot easier to put in and take out if they are separate. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll actually weld some studs sticking out of the bottom of this box, and then I'll just have some nuts that I tighten in on this side. Time to make it happen. And not lose the screws. So I'll set this on here just to make it to where I can align them, like that. This 
Well, I'm going to flip it around this way so you guys have a chance to see a little bit of what I'm doing. Hopefully it's clean. Not great. That's all right, it'll burn it out. Probably should have cleaned this off a little better, but ah, that'll hold. All right, there you have it. Good question is, did they go back on? Perfect. And actually, I think I'm gonna be smart and actually slot these because that way I'll be able to kind of drop it on and assemble it a lot easier rather than having two holes to have to nail. And this way I can literally just have it slot on and I don't actually have to take the bolts out. I just need to loosen them. Now I'm really thinking. Slotted, and I also cut these big chamfers on these corners just because if you're slotting it anyway, why not make it easy? Now I'll be able to drop this thing on. I don't have to get these two slots dead on aligned. I can just kind of drop it, wiggle it around until I feel it start to grab into these and it'll just shove right into place. All right, now that this thing's done, let's uh, throw it all into place and we can move on. go she's home like a glove I went with the Optimas mainly because they're the shortest battery I could find this way. I know they're not what they used to be. A little nervous about it for a $300 battery that I know is questionable, but hopefully it all works because I don't have a ton of other options. But either way, with that battery in, we can now focus on filling up all this empty space between all the road stuff and the engine. More sheet metal.